All right, Joe, I can see you now. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I can see you. Joe, Love it when it works. man, welcome to the show, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah. It's been a, good show. It's How's been a it? lot of ACV talk. Yeah, I mean, just constantly. ACV, making it rain. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, dude. So, all right. For anybody that's with us that doesn't know what ACV auctions, like I haven't said enough, please tell yep. us, why did you create ACV auctions? You got it. I'll uh, try and keep it on the rails here. I was a car dealer, all right, buying and selling a lot of cars. Um and, you know, from, from the car dealer world, the auctions are just a broken industry. Um, very, very antiquated, very old school. And uh, they take a lot of time for car dealers. It's a lot of work to go to these auctions, source cars. Um, and it's hard for the sellers to bring all their cars there and go and babysit them. And then, you, you know, extra touch points and people steal stuff out of cars and all this crazy nonsense. So, Really, you know, all that aside, our business is just meant to streamline the operation. We originally focused on making the car dealer experience better. And we are an online auction. Um, there's, you know, between 10 and 20 million wholesale cars a year, depending on how you measure it. Uh, every year getting sold through primarily auctions. And our spin on it is very simple. And, and this is how it ties into car haulers, auto transporters, is the car stays at the selling dealership until it gets sold. And then it's point to point, it needs to move from, you know, the seller to the buyer, and it needs to move there quick. So like you were starting to say with the the Amazon and FedEx analogy is, uh, we didn't plan to go into the transport business. It wasn't we were going into the auction business. But what happened was we're moving all these cars, um, we kind of made it easy for car dealers to buy cars from all over the country from markets they've never bought from. And when I was a car dealer, I had my one or two regular transporters that I saw every single week at the auction. They basically went, parked their rig, waited for me to buy five or 10 cars, and I'd hand them the gate passes, and they'd schlep them out of there and bring them home. Um, fast forward to the way ECV works. If you're a car dealer on ECV, you buy cars from all over the place. We make it so easy for you to access inventory from all over the country, so that's what dealers do. But that means they didn't have transporter partners lined up to go and move these cars from states they never bought for or bought from. So, you know, really long story here is, is simply that out of necessity, we said, geez, we got to start helping our customers, our dealer customers move these cars. And, uh, and that's what we did. So your point about Amazon, FedEx, we started posting on Central Dispatch. And then we started posting too many on Central Dispatch. And then we started either, <laughs> either uh, you know, and no harm, no foul here, but we either were breaking their site with how many we were posting or they were throttling us because they didn't like so many ACV cars being posted on their site because Central Dispatch is owned by Cox Automotive, which owns Mannheim Auctions. So maybe just a little conflict of interest there, but forced us to say, man, we, you know, we are now in the transport business, um, even though we didn't intend to be. Uh, and we got to find a way to reliably move these cars. So we started our own load board. So... There is, there are, so, to be. there are so many pieces. I love, man. That's really, that's a lot of information. In yeah, sorry. Of, no, <laughs> I love it. No, I, you, well, hey, listen, you've seen me talk. I mean, it's, I love it because really when we go back, as we go back and we unpack this, uh, in the beginning, um, there was in seven days. Okay. So it, you, you're at the, you know, you've got traditional auto auction, right? Yep. And the number one problem for a dealer is they're losing time. Which means if they're losing time, they're losing money. And this is really why, you know, if you're a dealer and you come up with a technology like yours where, hey man, guess what? That used trade-in that you want to sell, I mean, that's all you're going to do with it. <coughs> you're just going to sell it. And you're going to sell it at an auction. Okay, just leave it on the lot. You just got it. I'll tell you what, use our technology, list it today, sell it. What? Today. <laughs> today. Whoa. Our auctions are 20 minutes long. We're, we're, it's a now business is how we think about it. And, uh, Whoa. you know, car dealers are the most impatient people on the planet, me being one of them. And so, you know, everything we do is, is in a rush and time of the essence. And, 
that's why we're talking to you and your audience too, because we need a ton of transporters nationwide immediately. And you've got the audience. And, and I actually think you can tell me if I'm wrong or your audience can tell me if I'm wrong, but uh, you know, our, our goal here is to make the transporters life easy. Okay. Get them paid They're, They want from the way I understand it. And uh, I did a little bit of car hauling in my day too. Right. Uh, but ease and simplicity and, time behind the wheel, you know, driving down the road is where these guys make their money and not having to chase money is important. Um, so we alleviate that getting paid fast. Mm -hmm. We take care of that. Yes. Um, and we know everything about these cars. We know the origin, we know the destination, we know everything because the, the customers are our customers. These are people that just either bought or sold the car. So we know them inside out. We know cell phone numbers. We know the whereabouts of their dealership. You're not going to an auction. We talked about this before, but yeah. going to an auction and looking for a car. You can, I've done it before. You can lose hours oh my looking gosh. for a car. Totally. So, you know, with us, these cars are at the dealership's lot. You pull up, you hand them the, the, the release paper that we provide, right. load that car, and you're, you're back on the road making money, not spinning your wheels. And as we know dealerships i know this is a dispatcher if that car that i'm calling about luckily is at a dealership i'm like yeah bring it on because i know the hours are going to be better than most other locations and i know that the dealer they want to get that thing off the lot they're not going to make me run around and guess at numbers and whatnot no man they want that car gone so here's here's a question for you if a dealer gets a trade in, can list it and sell it today, how many days did they save right there? Oh, I mean, five, seven. <laughs> right. You know? And if they don't sell it the first week at the auction, you're waiting another week. The car's sitting in a parking lot. Plus, they didn't have to pay a transporter to take it from the dealer to the auction and then right. back to the dealer. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Wow. A lot of a lot of streamlining. And I know that within within this business model, then you could have uh, uh, <coughs> excuse me, other strategic partnerships. That was that was an actual cough, not a not a that was a cough, not a gaff. <laughs> you could have other strategic business partners because of now that you are selling from the dealership what if you need auto remarketing or other tracking or other other special parts. It it really this is what we call disruptive right yeah I, i'd say so deal. we're sitting in the, we're sitting in the center of it because oh. we we own the transaction you know what i mean we own, own that whole that experience of the car getting bought and sold um and, and therefore we're in a large way responsible for everything else that that surrounds it the the payments the titles all the car dealer type stuff but it's also fun because it it allows us to get into the transportation space and own the whole transportation experience. So, and it's a lot of cars, like you were saying. I mean, we sold we sold twenty two thousand cars last month on ACV. Whoa! Uh, and over half of those cars, uh, the dealers requested that ACV transportation figure out how the heck they're going to move those cars for them. Right. So we've got a big, big need for transporters. I just I just envisioned like a political cartoon. So you've got like traditional auction at the end of a garden hose drinking from the garden hose and then they look up the hose and there's acv auctions drinking further up the hose you know it really is changing so you have all this capacity and it just keeps growing because you keep signing up more dealers so you need right. more and more carriers and that's really that's why there's no cutoff we want everybody to sign up and so it's easy to sign up. Let's do let's do this. Let's do I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and I'm going to bring up the acvauctions.com forward slash ATI. This is where you go. Go to right. acvauctions.com forward slash ATI, put in some simp simple info and get signed up and when you get signed up you're looking at, here's your new load board. Yep. Yep, and it's free to sign up. There's no monthly fee. We're not trying to nickel and dime anybody. You know, we can have you signed up probably within an hour or two. We just need to get the information from you, validate it. Um, and we want you hauling cars. It's, it's really that simple. Um, and we have cars all 
all over the country. We're selling a thousand plus cars a day. Um, the majority of which we need, we need help getting these things transported. Um, and again, you know, I think the really cool thing is here, we know everything about these cars. We had one of our own inspectors go and touch this car, take 50 photos of the car, verify that it runs and drives, verify that there's keys there. You know, there's really no surprises, which I think for a transporter, that's what this is all about. It's just keep this simple. You know, how do I get paid? Drop off the car, give us a copy of the bill of laden that shows that it was delivered. We're ACHing the transporter the money the next day. Okay, and so it's a simple process, right? Yeah. Did they uh, they upload their BOL or right? Yep. Send it. And over. when Matt when Matt comes on, he He's can talk, talk about, about all the details because he really is more responsible for all that than I am. He's closer to it, but I tell you, I love that you know the information about the cars. We talked about the detective work. It's insane. It's it's crazy. Uh, in fact, I can't, it, let's say I get through the vehicle information. I could get the wrong pickup or delivery information. That's, that's, that's not acceptable. It happens, right. it happens yeah. all the time. And who's paying for those mistakes? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> right. We're used to owning our mistakes. We don't make a ton of them. We did sell 22,000 cars last month. There's mistakes in there, but we, you know, we, we're in the business of, of owning up for our, for our errors and, uh. You know, if, if we drop the ball, we're going to make it right. And, and that's what's cool, too, is that, I mean, here you are. You're the founder. You're talking about the company. And, I mean, you you are, you know, you're here. This video, we're live now, and then this video is going to be on demand. And, I mean, not only do we want carriers to sign up, but we want carriers to know who ACV is, what you guys stand for, you know, and what 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 your what your goals are, what you're trying to do, and and yeah. it's, I find it really interesting. You weren't setting out to build a load board. That's really interesting. Yeah, it was sheer necessity. You know, and and uh, just we needed to get eyes on a couple things, right? We needed to get eyes on the cars that we needed to move. Um, we tried going through some big big brokers that promised up and down they could move all our cars. Right. They couldn't. And, and our end customer truly is, is the buyer of these cars and the seller of these cars. And the sellers want them off a lot fast and the buyers want them in their possession fast. And, and we're willing to pay to make that happen. So if you look at our rates, we're paying good money for these cars. We are not, we are not trying to cheapskate. We want these cars moved. We know that in order to get these cars prioritized on trucks, it takes a little more dough. We're happy to, we're happy to pay to move these cars. And what we found with these big brokerages is, you know, they'd say, oh, yeah, you know, we'll we'll pay up, we'll pay up. And they wouldn't. And I can't blame them necessarily, but we just had to take control of of our own destiny. The other thing is, as a transporter that's moving cars for ACV, you're getting paid directly by us. So you're not chasing money from the, the origin or the destination. Um, you're not having to get money from used car dealers and, and trust their checks. We're direct to depositing money into your account, you know, same day, next day, two days later, whatever it is, as quick as we can. There's no delay um, from when you drop that car off. And so when we were posting all these cars on load boards like Central Dispatch, they were just getting lost in the shuffle. And we really thought, and I think it's true, we really thought we had something special from, a, from an offering for transporters, you know, for all the reasons we just talked about. But when you just post them among the other thousands of cars that need to get moved on Central Dispatch, the fact that you're getting paid virtually instantly, the fact that you don't have to chase the money, the fact that we know exactly where this car is coming from, going to who the contact points are, um, you know, n there was no there was no way to showcase that, if you will, on on a on someone else's load board. Yeah, so said, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll yeah. build our own load board. That's it. And that's and the truth is when you list the, the concerns and the gripes of carriers and dispatchers, uh, in searching load boards, trying to stay loaded. I mean, it's tough to get a hold of people. You never know. Is this is this some company that closed down or reset up, right? You don't know about the vehicle. Yeah, you're worried if you're going to get paid. If it's not COD, really, there are there are many drivers that are like, I just if it's not COD, I won't do it. Right. And and yeah. and, and that's and that's hard. That man, it's it's hard to build a good paying route around only COD. So then when you start to trust somebody 
that you book a load with that you are going to get paid. And ACH, <coughs> excuse me, ACH is one of those things that when you see it, it's not COD, but it sure is darn close. And oh, so- yeah. I mean, the, the money's good as gold sent into your bank account. Like, and yeah, wor- worst case, it takes two days, but it's it's coming. It's on its way. We're not we're not net 30 terms or anything crazy like that. We want to pay you. <laughs> we're yeah. happy to pay you. Um, right. And we're happy to pay up for some of these cars, you know, these rural location stuff. Like, we got to move these cars kind of, you know, hell or high water is our philosophy. Um, you know, and there's a lot of there's a lot of mainstream routes. And there's a there's a lot of you know oddball routes, and we need all these cars moved no matter what. And and, and one thing you know we'll talk about. Sorry, no, I don't wanna, no, I'm no, say here. it, say it. Yeah, no, sure. So we started in in the Northeast. So if you look at that load board, yeah. you'll. So four years ago or so, we we got you know we got started, and it's it's grown exponentially. And actually, you've got that um, that image that shows how we've expanded. Yeah. Yeah. Roll that beautiful footage, but. <laughs> so this is ACV's growth over the past four years, and those every individual line, um, you know, is is lots of cars that need to be moved. So you can see how this thing's grown over the years. And obviously, on the West Coast, it looks thinner. But mark my words, we launch a market to go and sell cars in. You know, it takes a couple months to really get it up and going. Um, but they all come online and they come online fast. So even if you don't see a lot of moves coming out of North Dakota and you're a transporter and you say, oh, you know, they don't have anything for me, get signed up, keep checking, <laughs> the volume will build. It, it has in the Northeast, it has in the Southeast, in Texas, and California. So, Well, and, and frankly, I mean, this won't be any surprise to anybody in an area that's already searching for loads. The West and the Northwest just doesn't have as many loads as the other areas of the country on average. So that's not going to surprise anybody. Yeah. Right. That's just that's right. part but of it. But we just also haven't been there longer, so it will scale quite a bit. Yeah, great. Even better. Yeah. Did you say that again. You dispatched a thousand well, vehicles. Oh, yeah. Yo, I did it. Our team did. I, I, team I did. do more of the carrier onboarding, uh, carrier compliance, uh, set up payments, all of that stuff. Wow. Uh, we have another carrier dispatch manager who handles that. But as a team, we we dispatched over a thousand vehicles in one day, which that specific day was uh, was close to the amount of vehicles we sold. Uh, so it was it was an amazing day. And every day, I mean, we we break records every month. It, it's been amazing. I've been on with the company about 15, 16 months, and it's just been amazing uh, to see the amount of growth. It's it's really truly amazing. Right. As well as our, our carriers' growth since they've been with us, uh, we've had carriers who have started with us with uh, two trucks. And some of them are up to nine trucks as of right now. To see them grow with us uh, has been uh, truly amazing. Wow. And, uh, scale with us. Um, and now they only want to take ACV freight. So it's, uh, it's, it's truly an honor. So Our average transport distance is like three to 400 mile range. But we do local stuff all the way to cross-country halls. So, you know, for, for guys running 10-car high rails, you know, we can help you put loads together for guys running three car wedge. We got a ton. <laughs> we got we got so much. Right. Uh, yep. Yep. Those three car wedges are are certainly our our uh, our bread and butter. I like to call it. So, uh, our, our, Joe, you hit it right on the head. Our average hauls are uh, in the four hundred mile range. Um, so, but we have these short uh, 12, twelve mile uh, hauls, uh, fifty mile runs. Um, uh, Jay, if you wanted, I can do a quick uh, run through of the uh, load board. Yeah, let's do that. And I, I want to share this with you guys. There is a lot happening in the live chat. And I say that because I know you can't see it because we're here on the show. And so we can't be distracted by everything. But there, there's a lot going on. So um, be That's excited. Awesome. Yeah, man. This is, there's something oh, happening. Positive. This is really, really yeah. cool. Uh, let's go ahead and, all right, I'm going to pull up. Okay. Again, and, uh, Arthur, I shared this with you. The link go to acvauctions.com forward slash ATI. This is where you're going to sign up. You hit the get hauling button and sign up. I signed up. It was fast. And then, and Ty, you signed up. It was fast. So you get signed up. They want you signed up because they want you booking vehicles. And then here you go. You're on the load board. Get to work. We need right. your help. <laughs> Go, boys. Where you at? 
So, all right, so here we are. Tell me more. Okay, so let's say it was my first time here, Matt. What am I doing? What am I looking at? Yep, absolutely. So if you if you would refresh, I don't know if you have a certain Oh, yeah, on. yeah, here we go. Um, yeah, I think I've had that page there for about an hour or more. Yep, it's going to have you log back in. Okay. You're timed out. No problem. No, big no deal. problem. <laughs> okay, refresh. Okay. Yeah, so let's let's start back. So you guys, you sign up through the ACV auctions forward slash ATI. Uh, you're going to get a call from one of our onboarding oh, specialists. Um, they're they're going to have a little chat with you, find out uh, what kind of runs you do, what kind of trailers you have, um, find out a little more about your company. We're uh, going to need your authority, insurance, uh, the basics. Uh, we'll get you signed up same day uh, within a couple of hours. Um, have your ACH banking information. So after you do your first load, uh, the payment and everything goes seamlessly. Um, after you, after they, they do that, uh, you'll be signed up. You'll come here to the load board. Um, so this right here, uh, at the end of the day, there's uh, not a lot on there right now. But as of today, I think we dispatched over 700 cars. Uh, but say, for instance, you can sort it by uh, pickup state, uh, delivery state, um, uh, what have you. So it, it's very oh, okay. simple. If cool. you want to, if you want to simply, yeah, go ahead and sort it by anything. Maybe New Jersey. I'm sure there's bound to be Let's do it. plenty of those around. All right, cool. So I, I'm going to do buy New Jersey. We'll do any. And then what do I click? Filter? Do, uh, sort? Yeah, do filter. You, yeah, you, you can do filter. Okay. I click filter. Okay. All right. So now here's right. my New Jersey. Okay. Here's your New Jersey. Okay. So say, Say we wanted to pick, say, uh, just the first three loads. I know they're not really going to the same place, but for the sake of argument, uh, click the first three loads. You're interested in them. Okay, so uh, choose these I'm three. I'm sure you're not going to throw the international with uh, the Ram and a Cadillac on a three-car <laughs> wedge, but right. for the sake of argument, okay. uh, click select jobs. Okay. Down at the bottom left, right there. So right now, you're, these jobs are just in a staged in a staged uh, capacity. So okay. what it does is it takes it out of you from other carriers. You have time to call your driver. If you're a dispatcher, you can call your drivers. You have a little time, a uh, minimum of an hour. Sometimes uh, it's longer than that, but eventually it will be an hour uh, filter uh, where they'll automatically be unstaged or unlocked. Uh, but we find that an hour is a decent amount of time for a carrier to decide whether they want to load or not. Um, so you would, all you would do once you decide you do want the loads. In fact, you, um, you just put in a pickup date, a delivery date. Um, if you don't agree with the payout, uh, if you do agree with it, uh, the suggested payout, you're going to be assigned the, the load right away. It's just going to be assigned to you. You'll get a release in the email. Um, if you say you want a little more money, it's bigger or just extenuating circumstances, you could put, a, put it at 325, 350, put comments why, um, simple as that, and just, and just click submit. Um, you can do that with all the loads, one load, say you didn't want all of them. Um, you just want that one. See, there you go. You're going to get it just for being amazing. <laughs> uh, I but it, but it's, 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 it's as simple as this. We wanted to make something super easy to use. Uh, we do not have an Android or iOS version yet, but we are working on that. Okay. Uh, Joe, who uh, I'm not sure if Joe Klanowski is still in the chat, uh, but he's yeah. the, uh, he's the one who developed this and we have a lot of amazing things in the works right now, such as. Uh, we are developing uh, direct dispatch and where carriers can put in their preferences. Uh, also notifications where they we can notify carriers of when a load in their area is out, uh, where they would get a certain amount of time to either accept or deny a load. Um, there's there's a lot of new things coming around the corner, uh, as well as releases. Right now, it's kind of we have to pull them from a secure database. There are some people in the chat joking about our, our secret phrases, uh, but those those soon will be automated to where that secret phrase is automatically put into the dispatch sheet, which will automatically be emailed to the carrier. Um, so that will be uh, in the works here soon. Um, I just want everyone to know. So I, I would say within the next month or two uh, tops, we should be seeing these uh, data releases and all of our carriers will be notified of that. Uh, so Jay, well, if you go to, now if you go to uh, uh, my jobs or stage jobs up there, it'll still show you what uh, what jobs you have stayed. So you can go back to them if you're a dispatcher oh, wow, or a driver. Cool. Yeah, if you're, if you're still working the jobs, uh, you're good to go. If you want to go back and see all jobs, just go back and click ACV jobs. And once you, hmm. I don't know why you got that. Hmm. 
And you know, Joe, I got I got to look at what status we have you on, Jay, because there never yeah. weren't. Right, that's true. Carrier. That's true. <laughs> I don't, that's true. I don't have uh, any care. It's right. true. Yeah. Uh, so if you if you want to click uh, the ACV jobs or my jobs tab. Okay, I'll go to ACV. Yeah, ACV jobs. That brings you right back to where all the. Wow, jobs this already are. changed by four. It was seventy five. Yep. So now we have we have carriers all night that'll be requesting these loads. All right. And like I said, the the closer you are to the to the suggested price, uh, the quicker you're going to get a load. Uh, but it doesn't mean you won't get it. It's just sometimes a carrier might e or one of our dispatchers might email you, call you, and say, "Hey, uh, will you come down a little bit, or will you go up?" So it, it's a very e easy process, very seamless. A lot of people will tell you if it's in a if it's in an area where we know uh, what you know the rates are a little higher, we're just going to award the load to you. Uh, people will tell you we we care more about. Uh, getting it to our buyer in a reasonable amount of time so that's cool. what is a reasonable amount of time matt uh well for instance uh our our average our average loads are are 400 miles so uh we like to have it to our buyers within five calendar days so and we we think that's a reasonable amount of time uh for yeah. that type of load so um and we do know we we keep that in mind and we obviously we want it sooner than that uh but we do keep in mind that carriers are building routes uh, they might have a, another car on that route that they're picking up in, uh, you know, in two days that they have scheduled. So uh, that's why we, we have certain cycle times that we want to hit and uh, for our buyers. And uh, that's so and that and that brings us to another point. So we are working on a tech release. I'm not sure when it's going to be out, uh, but uh, for carrier profiles for, um, you know, so a carrier can see how, how they're doing on the ACV platform right there in their profile. Uh, so there's a lot of cool and exciting stuff for uh, we want our carrier partners to keep an eye out for. Um, it'll benefit everybody, help them find loads faster, uh, more trust and transparency, just like our, our company mission. Uh, we also want to have that with our carriers. So uh, they'll have more insight into the loads they're taking, uh, the locations, the, the vehicle. Uh, we want to have it to where we actually have the main picture of the auction go right into the order. So if they get that dispatch sheet, they'll have an actual picture of that vehicle on that dispatch sheet. That'll help tremendously. Like if it's a truck, does it have a ladder rack? Sometimes you're surprised by these things when you show up or a plow. Uh, you never know. So those pictures uh, go a long way. And we have plenty of them on our platform from our VCIs. So. Man, there's so many good ideas there. Like, yep. in fact, if somebody has feedback, an idea, what's a good way to, to submit information to you? Uh, carriers at acbauctions.com. Okay. Uh, that goes to our, our carrier uh, management department. Um, our onboarding specialist will get that up. And if it's for our load board, we, we want to hear any feedback, negative or positive, all of it. Uh, all of it helps. Um, we will get that over to our development team. So we're, we're always looking to improve, always looking to, to be faster, always looking for uh, to go one step further. So. Oh, and what if somebody says, I'm a phone guy. I just want to talk to somebody on the phone. Can they talk to Call somebody? Call us. What's, yeah, the, what's a good us. phone number? 716-796-6976. Uh, um, Joe, I don't know if you know the 800 number offhand, but I can get that right now. Six, nine, seven, six, yeah, it's 800-553-4070. It's also right on our website, acvauctions.com. Well, yeah, one of the prompts is over to transportation. Yeah, we're actually the first prompt now for Oh, for nice. Calls. Representative, <laughs> representative. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yep. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think you know, Matt. Matt touched on some really, um, I think, I think, amazing things. I, I mean, totally agree. <laughs> but the, you know, the, the fact that there's only 75 cars on there right now, like by tomorrow, it will be filled right back up. We we dispatched something like 900 cars today, so we're all over this. Like our sense of urgency, like the the rate that acv operates at our heartbeat our pulse i think is matched to dealers and transporters you know and i think that's important we're this is our marketplace our car marketplace and also our load board is not a, a land of stagnation if that makes sense this is not just <laughs> totally oh my gosh sitting there <laughs> and that's usually but that's usually the result of marketplace inefficiencies and we're not about that